A Global Game of Chess Moving Mountains of Military Might, written by Max Hastings. A single M1 Abrams tank weighs almost 70 tons. That's equivalent to 12 adult African elephants. Now imagine moving an entire armoured division, thousands of troops and their equipment across continents. This is the daunting logistical challenge faced by the United States military. It's a complex operation requiring meticulous planning, cutting-edge technology and the coordination of multiple branches of the armed forces. The scale of US military transport is staggering. Every year, millions of tons of equipment and hundreds of thousands of personnel are moved around the world. This intricate web of movement ensures that the US can project power and respond to crises wherever they may arise. From the deserts of the Middle East to the jungles of Southeast Asia, the US military has the capability to deliver forces to some of the planet's most challenging environments. The challenges of moving armies distance, terrain and diplomacy. Moving military hardware across vast distances presents significant hurdles. The sheer distance between the US and potential theatres of operation necessitates careful planning and the use of multiple modes of transport. For example, transporting a brigade combat team from Fort Hood, Texas to Europe can involve a combination of rail, road, air and sea transport. Diverse terrain poses another set of challenges. What works in the deserts of the Middle East may not be suitable for the jungles of South America or the Arctic tundra. Mountainous regions, dense forests and vast bodies of water all require specialised equipment and logistical expertise. Overcoming these physical barriers is only part of the equation. Navigating the complex web of international regulations and diplomatic sensitivities adds another layer of complexity. Securing overflight permissions, coordinating with host nations and ensuring compliance with international law are crucial for the smooth execution of military transport operations. Taking to the skies, the power and limitations of air transport. When speed is of the essence, air power reigns supreme. The US Air Force boasts an impressive fleet of transport aircraft, including the massive C-5 Galaxy and C-17 Globemaster III. These behemoths of the sky can carry enormous payloads, enabling the rapid deployment of troops and equipment over long distances. Air transport is invaluable for delivering forces to crisis zones quickly, providing humanitarian aid and supporting ongoing operations. However, airlift capacity is not unlimited and it comes at a significant cost. Furthermore, reliance on air transport can make military operations vulnerable to enemy air defences and require access to secure air bases. Section 4. Ruling the waves, sea lift for heavy metal and global reach. When it comes to moving vast quantities of equipment and supplies, nothing beats sea power. The United States Navy's Military Sea Lift Command operates a fleet of specialized ships including container ships, roll-on slash roll-off vessels and tankers. These vessels are essential for sustaining overseas deployments, delivering humanitarian aid and supporting large-scale military operations. Sea transport offers significant advantages in terms of capacity and cost-effectiveness, particularly for heavy equipment like tanks, artillery and armored vehicles. However, sea lift is inherently slower than air transport, making it less suitable for rapid response situations. Additionally, naval transport requires access to ports and harbours, which may be vulnerable to attack or sabotage. Section 5. Boots on the ground. The enduring role of land transport. While air and sea lift dominate long-distance transport, land-based logistics remain crucial for moving personnel and equipment within theatres of operation. Military trucks, armoured vehicles and even pack animals play a vital role in delivering supplies to the front lines, supporting combat operations and evacuating casualties. Land transport is essential for connecting air bases and seaports to forward operating bases, ensuring the flow of supplies and reinforcements. However, Land routes are vulnerable to ambushes, IED attacks and logistical bottlenecks. Navigating difficult terrain, maintaining secure supply lines and ensuring the safety of convoys are ongoing challenges for military logisticians.